how to place a button in VBA? Yeah, insert. So we have to go to insert first. So we have to go to developer tab first, then insert, then ActiveX control command button. Okay. And when we want to um, go to the VBA page, all we have to excuse me, all we have to do is select the design mode, double click on the command button, and we are into the VBA section. Okay. So today what I'll be trying to do is I'll be trying to <coughs> cover up uh, cell referencing through range, okay. normal message box, uh, message box, um, uh, uh, customizing message boxes, okay. um, then defining variables. Okay. Swapping variables mm -hmm. and so on. Uh, so uh, if we uh, cover these things till six or till five thirty, then we can do something for the other half an hour. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let us start. So the very first uh, code that I'm going to talk about today to, uh, mm -hmm. teaches us about cell referencing. So first, you have to understand how to select or reference a cell before writing any code or anything. So for that we use the range function. So let me tell you about the syntax of the range function. So delete these. Yes. So you write range cell 1 cell 2 as range now do not do not go by the name so range does not mean necessarily you have to select a range you can also select one single cell so that is also a range so please do remember that this is a range also a range and this is also a range this is also a range of one cell and this is a range of uh, many cells okay so what I'm <coughs> going to do over here is I'm going to write range semicolon a1 the range uh, double quotes a1 I'm going to close the bracket I'm going to write dot value why am I why am I writing value mm -hmm. because I want to enter a value into the cell do not think that value is only for numerical value can be both numer in a, in excel we treat uh, both numerical and ca character uh, stuff set value so value equals to what value equals to say my initial okay so let's try it let's run the code so a1 so see, A1 has my initial. Now what is going on, what is the intuition behind this code? Range the cell dot value. Why dot value? Because I am going to enter a value after the equal to that is going to go into that particular cell that I have just referenced. Okay. And why am I writing value equals to uh, the thing in quotes? Because it is a string a string a character not a number so if it would have been something like value equals to say 500 then I wouldn't have written it in quotes so I click command button one again it's 500 so I haven't written it in quotes but if it has to be so my initials so it has to be what if what I would uh, not have uh, written dot? What would have happened? Dot value equals to dot. No, a range and then the uh, cell number and the dot. Um, you mean like this? Uh, you want to select more than one cell? No, you have given dot value. So is it necessary yes. that you have to write dot value only? Yes, yes, yes. It's a syntax. Why dot value? Because you're ending the range over here 
and you are okay. saying what what do I want to do with this range? I want to input the value. What is the value? The value is equals to this. Okay, okay. So for any okay. like if I need to end a range at any point of time or in any uh, command, I will use dot. Mm. So, yes, the syntax is uh, similar throughout. So for range, for every other function, for referencing cells. So cells dot something, range dot something, okay. message box dot something, answer is dot something, if dot something, is dot something, okay? Okay. Things like that. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So this is for a single uh, cell. What if I want to sell it, I want to uh, give it for a range? So I can also do that. I can write comma. Suppose till B7, I want 500. Let us see. See, from A1 to B7, it has selected the range. Okay. Okay? Okay. So, just a comma in between. A1 to B7. But be careful, you have to give quotes. You have to write your cell a number in uh, quotes. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay. Okay. Now, let's go to the second common button. So this is just selecting two ranges. This is I already did. Uh, common button three. Same thing in another way. So you can also write the syntax as this. So instead of writing, um, you know, A3 quote, A quote uh, close comma B7, you can also do it like this: A3 semicolon B7 quote close, and then I want the value this. So as soon as I run command button three, so I close the design mode and I run command button three. So from A3 to B7, it has changed. So this is my code. So either when I'm giving comma, I have to uh, give quotes on both the uh, cell uh, references, and if I'm giving, if I'm using a semicolon, I do not need quotes on either uh, cell references. Okay. 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 Next. <coughs> so. So for this long, we what were you we doing? We were actually putting some value into a cell, and we were assigning that value. Mm -hmm. What if? What if we don't want to assign a value, but we want to formulate a value? That I have done in the in command button four. So here, what I'm saying. <coughs> so first, suppose a8 and b8. So a8 and B8. So I have given 10 over here and 30 over here. Okay. A8 and B8. Mm -hmm. Just uh, see this. That I have given 10 over here and 30 over here. And what I am saying? I am saying the value in C8 that is here. The value in C8 has to be equal to the value in A8 plus the value in B8. Why am I not giving equals to here? Because I have already assigned the values inside the Excel sheet. Okay. Clear? Range. Any questions? So it, would, it would add the values in A8 and B8 and then give a Yes, C8. A8 and B8. Yes, and then produce result in C8. So let's look at it if it's happening. Yes, indeed it's happening. 10 plus 30 equals to 40. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Again, I am not putting value equals to anything over here because the value is already assigned in my cell. What the only thing I'm doing over here is I'm just adding them up. Okay. So this was a uh, was uh, your uh, your uh, 
referencing uh, function using referencing uh, function using range okay so we have learned how to select a single cell using the range function how to select a range of cell using the uh, range function and how to input value using the range function how to used input inputted values using range function how to uh, apply simple mathematical formula using range function i think uh, so i have done addition over you you can choose uh, all four, from all four mathematical functions okay. so plus minus division multiplication anything okay yeah. okay next next thing is very important of course, everything is important, but next next thing is like uh, is, it's going to be a pillar in your VB understanding. That is defining variables. Defining now, what do you mean by defining variables? Defining variable is not the same thing as giving variables values. Giving variables values is just like fixing a variable to a, a constant. Defining variable is like defining the variables dimensions in which dimension does the variable does the variable lie in the character dimension does the variable lie in the numeric dimension does the variable lie in both dimensions or does the variable lie in a numeric dimension in a higher scale by numeric dimension in a higher scale I mean the double uh, when I say when I define a variable as double so it can take both integer and decimal values so the, so I have to define these things in the beginning. So in VBA, so un, unlike SAS, which automatically there are some things which automatically uh, allows us to um, give SAS variables and SAS automatically takes them as numeric or um, character. In VBA, you have to define them first. If you define them in a wrong way, your code will end there it won't proceed for it. So, observe this first. Just look at this first. In fact, from income to name. Just observe this first. So my name is, of course, my name is string value. Right? It's a character value. My birthday. My birthday is what? Date. Date. My country is again a string value, right? A character value. Uh -huh. And what is my income? My income is also um, a numeric value. A numeric value. I could have defined it as double, but I am defining it here as currency. Okay. Okay. So let us concentrate on this line. Next, the second line. Deem variable name as something. So what is my variable name? My variable name here is name. So dim name as string. Why string? Because it is a character variable. It's written in quotes. Uh -huh. Okay? Dim. Why dim? No, what to dim? What is dim? Dimension. Okay. Dim is dimension. I told you uh, just a while back in which dimension does it, does it lie? Does it lie in the numeric dimension? Does it lie in the character uh, string dimension? If in numeric dimension does it lie on uh, a higher plane, meaning is it defined as double? If uh, does it lie in both numeric and character plane, then it will be defined as variant. Alright? Okay. Okay. So, is, 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 am I going too fast? No, no. Uh, is it understandable? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Please stop me whenever you feel that, okay, I'm not getting this. No. Hmm. So, dim name as string, b day. So, b day is my next variable. b day no. as date, country as string. So country as string obviously because it's in quotes. Mm -hmm. Income as currency. Why am I tell telling it as currency? Because I want the formatting to be applied. Same as with date. Okay. okay. 
So now that I have defined my variables, I am going to say, so this, there is a particular structure to the VBA coding. So I will tell you what the structure is. The structure is first define the variables, then what do the variable contain, then where are the variables. So define what are they, where, do, where are they. So this is what structure? Def the structure of the VBA code. So I am defining what are they over here defining the variable, then I am saying what are they, then I am saying where are they. So first is defining, I am just writing it down, defining first, the variable. First I am defining the variable, then I am saying what are the variables, like name is equals to show the shield, birthday is equals to 6, 10, 1994, country is equals to India, income equals to 2.8, okay. Okay, and where are they? and then I am defining the location. So location here is another uh, example of the range function, another type of the range function. Notice I have not used the dot value because, because neither do I have the values over there nor am I defining these values in the code. I have predefined the values in this particular code so that is why in range d1 take this variable name, in range d2 take this variable birthday, in range d3 take this variable country, in range d4 take this variable income. Okay, okay. so I do not write dot value over here. Because I am directly, directly assigning the variable names to them. Okay. okay. And my variable so names will have particular values uh, over there. So that is why I'm not giving dot value in the range. Okay. So just so because like have, have, yeah, say, say. just Sorry. because we have um, uh, mentioned the variables first as uh, like yeah. names. Just because we have mentioned the variables first and given and the then, values to the and then we are just uh, implementing those values in that particular cell number. Yes, 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 exactly. So D1, D2, D3, D4, so it's... So uh, the structure which you have given, uh, structure of VB code, yes. define the variables, yes. what are the variables and where are the mm -hmm. variables, uh, so mm -hmm. does it lie the same every time? It, uh, it will happen like this for 80% of the time. 80% of the time when you're doing a normal code it will happen like this. For uh, in the loop loops you will see it may change, it will change sometimes and by sometimes I mean very rarely. So only in the loops it will change. So yeah loops have the, a structure of their own so it will change then. Except that this is the structure. Okay. <coughs> okay. Next. So let's run this. So you can either select this whole uh, code and click on uh, the run sub button or what you can do is you can straightforward uh, just click on command button 5 which contains my code. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you may ask what is the use of this. I have just selected four uh, rows over here. <coughs> the people who are the this is generally for automation though. So the people who are in automation, they are automating everything. So w something like this that I that would have taken at least twenty seconds to write has been yeah. written just by a click of a button. Uh -huh. That but is the power and use of. Yes, but then? No, uh, what I'm saying is uh, writing the code and you know, then clicking a button and like for one thing it's uh, useless but uh, if you like you know, use data then I guess that's more efficient. This is, I have just written uh, for one name. If I use the yeah. for loop over here, yeah. uh, I also do not need to write the name. So I can connect the data, connect 
unnamed list to this code and I can use the for loop so every time the name list will uh, name list will be run a name will be added every time a birthday list will be run a birthday list will be added every time a country list will be run a country list will be added and every time an income list will be run an income list will be added okay. so this is just a simple code we begin in this you understand you get it okay. so some things which can't be done using the normal things for that you know, the normal code for that we are using the uh, VB. Okay. Okay. Go to the next code. The next code talks about column inter interchanging or variable swapping. Variable swapping is something that is absent in Excel direct variable swapping so what you can do is you can copy one variable uh, list to another place and then you can just you know uh, remove that variable to another place and then copy it back yeah. so if you have to say move ABC to XYZ first you have yeah. to copy X or ABC to here then you have to move copy XYZ to here and then you have to move uh, ABC to here and then of course you have to delete this such a long process yeah. and to do a whole column would be would even be longer so to do that we use VB now it, it, it's absolutely okay if you forget the syntax if you forget the syntax it's okay people may forget the syntax but what I would expect and what I what to me would be good is if you can understand the logic behind the syntax the logic that's running behind the syntax so it's this is uh, where the logic will come out the ba this is basic basic mathematics I'll tell you about it. Yeah. so first what am I doing same thing I am defining my variable first so I'm defining temp as string. So ABC and XYZ are both string variables. So I'm defining ABC uh, temp as string. Just hold on for a minute. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Yes, yes. So first I'm defining my variable that is temp as string. Why string? Because XYZ and ABC both are string variables. Then I'm saying what is uh, my variable? What does my variable contain? So my variable contains the value that is in range A9. That is why temp equals to range a9 dot value. So what is in a9? XYZ is in a9. Okay. okay. Till here it is clear, right? So I have saved. I actually with this variable, what I've done is I have saved temporary the variable temp. I have saved the value of A9 in the variable temp. Okay. So since the value of A9 is equal to temp, I have, so I have taken the value from A9, I have copied it and I have saved it to the temp. Instead of copying it and saving to another cell, I have taken it and saved it into temp. Now what am I doing? Now I am saying that the value in the cell A9 is equal equals to the value in the cell B9. So let us go and see what is in B9. So the value in cell A9 that is XYZ is equals to ABC. Okay? Yeah. So I am saying the value in cell A9 that is XYZ 
be equated with the value in B9, that is ABC. Okay. Okay. So first, what am I doing? First, I'm saving my value of A9 in a temporary variable. Then I'm equating A9 with B9. Uh -huh. Right. So at this point, two things have happened. One, first, my value of A9 has been saved in uh, temp, and the value from B9 has been copied into A9 since it is equals to B9. Since the value of A9 is equals to the value of B9, therefore the value of B9 has been copied into the value of A9. Okay. So first we have defined, uh, not defined actually. So what we have done is uh, for the temp we have given uh, a range or the values which are there in range A9. Okay, mm -hmm. and then we are saying that A9 is basically nothing but the values in range B9. Mm -hmm. And then B9 would be nothing but the values in the temp, which is the previous one. Which is A9. So, so understand the logic. Temp, temporary variable, I am mm -hmm. saving A9, the value of A9 in temp, then yeah. what am I doing? Then I'm taking the value from B9 and putting it in A9. Yes. So both A9 and B9 at this, so in this step, till here, both A9 and B9 have the same value yes. and there is a temporary variable called temp. Yeah. In the next step, what am I doing? I'm taking the value from temporary variable and I'm putting it in B9. Okay. So what is happening? So if z is equals to x and x is equals to y and then y is equals to z, think it like this. Okay. So a temporary variable that is z is equals to x and in the next step I'm saying x is equals to y and in the last step I'm saying y is equals to z. So in the end, two variables have been swapped, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so when I click on command button six over here, uh, keep your eyes on A9 and B9, and let's see what happens. See, so it swapped. So A9 now has ABC and B9 now has XYZ. Again, I'm clicking this. Again, it swapped. So A9 now has XYZ, B9 now has ABC. Okay. Direct swapping, this kind of direct swapping is not allowed by Excel, but through VBA you're doing it. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. okay, just your basic uh, con uh, basic uh, knowledge, nothing else. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is it? Yeah. See. Okay. No, it's okay. Uh, it's clear. It's clear. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what we'll do is we'll further explore the range function. So, all of these we are doing is associated with exploiting the range function, okay? So, again, we will uh, explore the range function more, okay? So, is it only for one column or it can be multiple columns also? Uh, no, at a time only for two columns. Uh, using the for loops, again, using the for loops, we can do it for multiple columns. That is why the for loop and do loops are so important. Okay. So for i equals to 1 to something, where I've numbered the column, so okay. I can easily interchange those columns. But it's like mm, very, it will become very complicated since We'll do that, we'll do that nonetheless, but the code is complicated since there are multiple columns. So you have to define for each column where you want it to go. So you want this column to be interchanged with this column, you want this column to be interchanged with that column, you want that column to be interchanged with another column. Like mm -hmm. that. Okay? Yeah. Good. Let us further explore the range function. So. 
we have just seen how to do uh, a simple addition in uh, VBA. So you write, suppose you have value in A8 and B8, you want the value in C8. So it's nothing, you just write range uh, C8 dot value equals to range uh, uh, range A8 dot value plus range B8 dot value, right? Correct. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. So, is that okay? Yes, yes. That part. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, the addition one, right? <laughs> the addition one, yes. So now, what we'll be doing will be. We'll be further exploring and doing it in, in an even easier way. Okay. So, suppose D8, so now D8 has which value? So, C8 has which value? 40. Uh -huh. So, I am saying that the value in range D8 will be equals to C8 into 10. How am I saying that? I am giving that as range d8 dot formula formula equals to what equals to how do we write a formula equals to equals in quotes equals to c8 into 10 exactly how you see your formula in the formula bar and then so D8, suppose suppose C8 contains the value, say 70. Then you run command button. What is the command button? So the command button is um, 7. So it has delete this. So nothing is over here. D8 is empty. But as soon as I run command button 7, 700 comes over here and see the formula for the cell D8 has changed. Okay. The formula for the cell D8 has completely changed. Yeah. It's gone from nothing to your multiplication formula. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so, two things. Firstly, here I'm not using dot value. I'm using dot formula. Why? Because I am giving a specific formula. Mm -hmm. Second thing, I am writing the formula exactly as same to same as I would have written if I would have done it in the formula tab. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, in place of 10, you can also write a cell number that contains the value 10 or anything. That is, that is the customize that customization is up you don't know same thing you can do for addition multi, uh, subtraction and multi, uh, division i have tried it i have tried to use v lookup h lookup and other complicated functions inside of uh, uh, the vba but till till time date i have not been able to master those okay they they are uh, like so we for a v lookup you have to write a code of 20 lines and even after that it doesn't work sometimes so okay. that is extremely difficult and it is meant to be difficult because you can already do it in one way then i don't think anybody anywhere will be required to will will say that okay i want this thing which is done so easily in excel Okay, okay, okay.